Today, we celebrate the Epiphany of the Lord. For some communities, this special day is called Little Christmas, or the 12th day of Christmas. Little Christmas refers to the arrival of the Magi, who, as we did just a few days ago, brought gifts to be opened by the Holy Family to celebrate the birth of Jesus. This day may even be considered the inspiration for the gift-giving tradition of Christmas. The other name for today comes from the popular song about the season, the 12 Days of Christmas. It's a favorite song to sing every year, especially when you're trying to remember the gifts of each of the days in the correct order. Today there are 12 drummers drumming, by the way. The word epiphany, of course, means a moment of sudden realization, a revelation, or insight. It also refers to the manifestation of a divine or spiritual being. The Christ child in the nativity story falls neatly into both of these definitions. But it feels like there should be something else in the general understanding of an epiphany, or the epiphany. If an epiphany simply activates a startle response, then it surely wouldn't merit the warm, fuzzy feelings of three fancy kings presenting ornate containers of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. If indeed there is something divine and supernatural about this particular epiphany, then those directly impacted by it will be changed. Encounters with the divine always have that effect. So if an epiphany, or the epiphany, is as impactful as it claims to be, there will be a resulting action on the parts of those who experience it. There is. Perhaps what makes an epiphany so powerful isn't simply what it initially presents, but how it changes people after the fact. The sudden realization then goes from, wow, look at that, to, oh, now I have what I need to do. That's what happens in the gospel account that we read today. The journey of the Magi is as much about the moment that sends them back out again as it is to bringing them to the manger scene in the first place. While the popular Christmas carol about the three kings from the Orient focuses on the long, slow walk to the manger, the caravan doesn't make that trip over land just to stop and stay put by the crib of the newborn king of the Jews. The story continues. Having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, the Magi left for their own country by another road. There's something more that happens after an encounter with the Messiah. Different steps are taken, perhaps steps that were not planned. The postscript to the Magi story isn't the only place where we see this happening. Now that the Messiah is among them, even the Holy Family themselves must take new steps. Thanks to the generosity of the Magi, the Holy Family now have the resources they need to make a successful escape to Egypt. After this pericope, Matthew describes the flight into Egypt and the slaughter of the innocents by order of Herod. Think about it. When Jesus enters into the scene, any scene, those who bear witness to him are confronted with the realities of their surroundings and are faced with choices to make. This light that has come into the world, as the Gospel writer John said last Sunday, has illumined us and everything around us. It may come as a sudden surprise, an epiphany, you might say. The light of the Messiah casts away the shadows of doubt. We are left with a way to see a path forward and an invitation to take new steps with the help of this very important light. The decision to act is the progression of this realization, recognition, consciousness, or revelation. In other words, an epiphany has an effect, and encounters with Jesus put things in motion. Recall the stories where Jesus meets someone. The woman at the well, Zacchaeus in the tree, the centurion, so many others. Each one receives a little bit of this divine light that has come into the world and have continued on as changed people. 
You too are among the people who have witnessed the incarnation of God in the world. Each year at Christmas, we offer gifts to celebrate the birth of the Savior, just as the Magi did. When we allow an encounter with Jesus to be as meaningful as it can be, we walk away changed people, people with a fresh perspective, setting out on an unplanned trajectory with a different way to see the world around us. How has Epiphany made a difference for you? Maybe the way to tell if a moment is truly a capital E Epiphany is to know what happens after the sudden realization. Epiphany is the jumping off point for what to do now that the divine presence of Christ is among us. Advent and Christmas have systematically set us up for this day. Mary and Joseph made it to Bethlehem. The angels showed up right on cue. Jesus was born according to the prophecies. And the star led the Magi. And here you are. So what are you going to do now? The season of Epiphany kicks off today. A whole new path lays ahead of us. One that we might not have planned for. Walking the way of Jesus will change us if we choose to follow. I hope we all do. May the light of Christ illumine our journeys and cast away all shadows of doubt. Amen.